We'll hear now Melissa Odin, a pro-life speaker, writer, and advocate with the Abortion Survivors Network. She's also a survivor of an attempted abortion herself. Melissa, thank you so much for being here. Why don't we start right there with a little bit of your story. If I understand correctly, your mother was just 19 years old when she went in for an abortion. Uh, Melissa, can you tell us what happened and, and also why you believe abortion has an intergenerational impact? Absolutely. I am one of those babies we hear argued about in our society, a child who survives a failed abortion. 43 years ago, my birth mother, Ruth, uh, was forced to have a saline infusion abortion. That type of procedure involved injecting a toxic salt solution into the amniotic fluid that should have been protecting me in the womb, but instead was meant to then poison and scald me to death. That procedure lasted five days for me, which was longer than typical because they couldn't successfully induce Ruth's labor. And so on the fifth day, when they finally did succeed, they believed that I would be born as a successful abortion, just delivered as a deceased child. And that's the day I was accidentally born alive. Hmm. Wow, gosh, that's quite a story. It's horrific to, to hear that. Um... So you testified in Congress Wednesday on the, the, at the behest of Senator Ted Cruz against the Women's Health Protection Act. Why is that bill so radical? The bill is absolutely radical, not only radical because it disregards the humanity of the unborn and, you know, any kind of protections for women. This was not about health care. This is about abortion and expanding Roe, not just protecting it. And, you know, sadly, I think one of the most radical pieces for me that I want people to be aware of is that it would make it so that no state law could ever be passed that would restrict abortion. That's radical. Melissa, recently, or historically rather, the Hyde Amendment received bipartisan support. President Biden uh, himself supported the, the, the rider, the annual rider, which prohibited taxpayer funding of abortion in the federal budget. It wasn't long ago, though, that the Biden administration removed the Hyde Amendment from the budget. Uh, Melissa, what do you think's changed? We haven't changed as the people. The will of the people uh, hasn't changed. You know, I think if you asked most people, no matter what they believed about abortion, they would say they don't want their taxpayer funds to go towards it. So we haven't changed, but this administration has. And I think we need to make it clear that our legislators need to hear from us that Hyde needs to be protected. All right, Melissa Odin with the Abortion Survivors Network. Uh, we appreciate you coming on and sharing your amazing story with us. We're so glad you are, are here with us today. So we praise God for that. And, and thank you again for coming on. Thank you.